everybody, this is PJ Riley from Lancaster Archery. Great day in our Lancaster Archery Shooting Center here. We want to tell you about a brand new premium target bow from Hoyt for 2021. This is the Hoyt Altus. So this is gonna be a premium target bow, but it's going to be a specific price option in Hoyt's uh, full line of target offerings. Main thing you're gonna notice about this is it is not a tech riser. This is not, doesn't have the shoot through riser that we're familiar with with Hoyt's. Just a different option there. It's gonna be a great uh, bow for all forms of target archery. So I'll be honest, in shooting Hoyt target bows in the past, I have felt some vibration in my hand um, that was just something that was noticeable to me. And this bow, I do not feel that hand shock. Similar to the Invicta last year with this new limb setup, they've really done a great job of killing a lot of vibration in this bow. It's got dampeners all over it as well, but I don't feel that hand shock that I have felt in the past. So, but this bow has a ton of customization options. Two different cams, various draw lengths. We're gonna run through all the specs for you now. The Hoyt Altus DCX is gonna have three different cam options with a total draw weight range from 24 and a half to 30 inches. The bow's gonna weigh 4.6 pounds, have a brace height of six and seven eighths inches, It'll have an ATA speed rating of 322 feet per second. It's gonna be available in peak draw weights of 40, 50, 55, 60, and 70 pounds. The Hoyt Altus SVX is gonna have five different cam options with a total draw length range from 23 and a half to 31 inches. It's gonna have a brace height of seven and one eighth inches the mass weight of the bow is 4.6 pounds. It's gonna have an ATA speed rating of 328 feet per second, and it's gonna be available in peak draw weights of 40, 50, 55, 60, and 70 pounds. All right, so let's run down some of the features of this bow here. Let's start up here with the cam. As we already told you, there are two different cam options. On this bow here, I have the SVX cam. So this is gonna be more of your performance cam. Uh, it's got a little more aggressive draw cycle. As you can see, it's very oblong here. The DCX is more round. Um, this is gonna have a higher speed rating. So this is a mod-based cam, which means you're gonna to have to change modules in order to change the draw length. And there are five different cam sizes uh, in the SVX line with different modules that pertain to each different cam. Your DCX, there's gonna be three cams and in each one of those, it, the draw length is gonna be adjustable for each one of those cams. So a little bit different there. They don't use modules, but the different cams are gonna get you your different draw lengths. Um, but next thing we're gonna notice here is this limb profile. So Hoyt, uh, has been running this for a couple years now. This is the second year they started it with the Invicta. They call this the 13 inch hybrid limb. So with um, Hoyt's target lines, uh, in the past they tended to have a real vertical profile, which you're gonna see starting here with the Altus in this hybrid limb. And then it's gonna flatten out and they're gonna be more parallel. It's kind of the best of both worlds. Um, as I mentioned that I didn't feel that uh, hand shock with this bow that I've felt in the past with other Hoyts, that's where this parallel comes in. The parallel limb system is a little bit smoother in the draw, it's a little bit better in handling vibration, and it's a little bit faster. So that's why Hoyt made, came up with this limb profile, just to give you kind of the best of both worlds. You got that target and then you got the smoothness um, of the parallel cam system. Uh, and then moving down, as we mentioned, this is not Hoyt's tech riser. It is not a shoot through riser, uh, but it's still, Hoyt does that for rigidity in that riser. So it feels nice and solid and full draw. But um, Hoyt was able to replicate that to a degree with the dual bridges, top and bottom here. And when you come to full draw on this bow, you'll it holds nice, it feels nice and sturdy when you shoot it. It feels rigid, um, minimal vibration coming through the riser there. Just a great riser design that's not shoot through. 
Um, then moving down, you're gonna see this grip here. So this is a machined in grip. It's not an add-on. The grip is machined right in as part of the riser. It is a zero degree grip. Nice taper, uh, real thin at the top. It flattens out down here at the bottom. It's got a very square edge. It's not sharp on the edges, but it is definitely very flat and rolls over there. Very good for hand indexing when you're getting into this bow. Something new you are gonna see here is this dovetail uh, that is machined into the riser. So you can use any of the QAD integrate rests. Of course, there are dropaways. And then this year, QAD did come out with an integrate with a launcher blade. Um, so that is a great new um, rest that QAD has come out with, and there is a Hoyt edition, so it's going to be optimized for this riser design. You can put that on there. That's just handy for, as you can see, I've got a typical bolt-on rest here. You can still do that, of course. The integrate is just a more solid connection there. You don't have to worry about bending this up or down. Once it's connected to the riser, it's super solid. Uh, then finishing out the bottom of the bow, you're going to have your standard stabilizer bushings. You're going to have your front one and your rear one down low. You, you will notice two holes side by side there. Um, Hoyt has a special locking system on some of their, uh, some of the side rod mounts where you can lock it in using that top hole there. But this is the standard mounting hole down low. Hoyt does have its stealth shot in here, its string stop. That's another great thing for killing vibration. And you're going to have their limb shocks bottom and top up there. Um, so as we mentioned, this uh, bow is going to be another price option in the Hoyt lineup. You're going to have lots of price options in there. It's going to be a great bow for all the different forms of target archery. Probably going to be especially a favorite of the 3D archers. Uh, with the speeds that you get out of this and that 38 inches axle to axle, this is going to be a great choice for those 3D archers. So your let off for the SVX, it's going to be 65%. For the DCX, you are going to have options for 65% and 75%. Um, but I really liked the let off on this bow. In the past, um, some of the other Hoyts have felt like they really wanted to pull my shoulder forward, uh, but this one at 65%, only 65% let off, there is enough of a valley back there that it's not really trying to force my shoulder forward. So this bow, as I mentioned, I really found it a pleasure to shoot. It, was, uh, it just held nice and shot nice. Up top here, you are gonna notice that it does have Hoyt's typical yoke system. That's just a tried and true way of tuning your bow. When I was setting this bow up, I did have my center shot correct, and then I was getting a left tear. Just take this, put it in the press, twist it up the left side of the cable, untwist it the right side, boom, took it right to a perfect bullet hole. So it's a real simple tuning method that has been around for years, um, so it works great. And, um, it was just, a, like I said, it was just a nice bow to shoot. Uh, you will notice I have an extra long D-loop here. This bow is a little bit short for me. We didn't have the modules to get it out to my draw length. So the long D-loop helped me out with that. But even with that long D-loop, I was able to hold this bow nice. Aim, it aimed well. That's one thing I always like to see is how well does it aim. It sits nice and still on the target. And I was able to work through my shot process both with a hinge and with a thumb trigger. So that's always nice. Sometimes certain bows don't work well for me with different releases, but this one worked well for both of them. So it was a real nice bow to shoot. All right, so that is the Hoyt Altus. Great new bow from Hoyt for 2021. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click that bell to get notifications whenever we put out new videos. As always, if you have any questions, you can visit us at langsterarchery.com.